Let's find out more about how Cubans are reacting to the embassy reopenings. Also joining us from Havana is Rafael Hernandez. He's the chief editor of Temas, Cuba's leading magazine in social sciences. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell us uh, what you've seen and heard there in Havana. What has been the general reaction from across the country? Well, uh, the reaction is the reaction of facing a unique event in Cuban history. This is the first time in Cuban history that the United States is not talking to Cuba as a subordinate or as an enemy. And in the last 54 years, six months, and two weeks since the day relations were broken, more than five generations of Cubans have been awaiting this moment. It is a moment that has a lot to do with our self-respect and with the respect the United States should pay to a Cuban nation that is independent, that is not part of the United States. We have had a war. The United States is being waging a war against Cuba, which is not only against the Cuban government, but against the Cuban citizens, because all Cubans, those who live in Cuba, those who left Cuba to other countries, including the United States, has suffered because of this hostility. So the hostility looks like ending now. This is a unique moment in our history, and all Cubans are celebrating. So what have you heard and seen on the streets there? Has there been a general sense, a mood of excitement, of anticipation? Well, we were surprised when normalization, when the restoration of relations was announced by President Obama uh, seven months ago, uh, because we were not expecting something like that to happen. Uh, we have been uh, we have been really expecting that to happen, but we didn't know that that was going to happen right now. So it was a surprise, a very a wonderful surprise for most Cubans, all Cubans, no matter what is, what is their ideology, what is their political views. And, and today, expectations are higher. Uh, we should not have higher expectations that may happen so soon. So we should not expect that changes may come uh, in the next days, in the next two weeks, because the embargo has to be lifted. To have normal relations, we need to have all these mechanisms that have been created for 54 years to isolate Cuba. This isolation system that was created to defeat the Cuban revolution and the Cuban independent past. Uh, all that that was imposed on Cuba uh, after all these years is basically what is connected with the embargo. All the mechanisms, the very complicated mechanisms to isolate the country, to deprive the country of resources, of uh, financial uh, or even monetary resources, for, uh, of banking, all that is connected with the embargo. Until we have the embargo lifted or uh, uh, basically uh, uh, downsize or decrease, the decrease restrictions. We need to have the embargo to be uh, eliminated step by step. And I think that the uh, US president, President Obama has the power to make changes, even the, if the Congress is not lifting the embargo uh, so soon. What do you think uh, former President Fidel Castro is thinking right now? Do you think we'll hear from him at some point in the future about what has been taking place? Well, uh, I haven't talked to Fidel Castro recently, but I am sure that this has been his uh, interest, his goal. His goal since the early days of the revolution, in the first uh, 100, 100 days after the triumph of the revolution, Fidel Castro visited the United States. The idea of the Cuban revolutionary leadership was to, to have a normal, a friendly, at least a normal relationship with the United States, but that, that didn't happen. And the, the story, the history of, uh, of that conflict is, is been the history of this uh, over 55 years. I, I think that he must be very happy today because finally he lived long enough to live this moment.
I suppose that he may be very, very happy now. All right, Rafael Hernandez, uh, chief editor of Temas Magazine. Thank you so much for joining us.